I did it. I'm finally not only caught up, but actually a little bit ahead for once in my life. This feels amazing. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go to Ohio for the weekend and go camping with some friends at Pyro Festival. Pyro Festival is a flow arts and fire jugglers dream. It's a gathering of people who like to juggle fire and play with flow props and are flow artists and they level up together, they share talents with one another and so on and so forth. The last time I went to this festival was in 2019 because in 2020 it and so many other festivals and events were cancelled. And in speaking of events getting cancelled, you have to know this, if you're new to my channel you need to know that for the past 15, 16 years or so I've been a performance artist making a majority of my income off of doing entertainment related work. I'm a contact juggler, I am a tightrope walker, I'm a character actor, I'm a fire dancer. I juggle fire, I roll balls of fire like this on my bare arms. I don't use this one to do that, but that's another video for another day. I've even actually walked fire tie ropes, and that's also another video for another day. But the point is, is that for the longest time I would go camping every single year and I would do a number of different festivals that were camping related or even more recreational forms of camping and I would be camping for most of June and July and I love camping. Well in 2020 not only did I lose about 95 percent of my entertainment related contracts I also didn't go camping at all for the whole entire year and it was very very different for me because I would go camping all the time. So to bring it all full circle I'm very excited because I finally have all of my stuff finished before I get out of town for the weekend. And if you're new to my channel, once again, you have to know that I've been posting every single day here on YouTube since January 1st of 2021. This is supposed to be quite a challenge for me considering I had no idea how to make videos, edit videos. I'm completely self-taught when it comes to creating content and I'm learning something new every time I make another video and release it here on YouTube. So now if you consider everything I just said, how am I going to post videos every single day if I'm going to be going camping for the next couple days? The answer may or may not be obvious to some of you, but YouTube will allow you to post videos and then release them on dates in the future. So I went ahead and I filmed some videos in advance and they'll be released over the weekend while I'm out camping. So as of right now it's about 10 o'clock on Thursday night. I wanted to leave earlier today but I didn't have everything all done and caught up except for my videos. I had to clean out my van, I had to load up the van, I had to clean up stuff around the house, get everything caught up so when I come back home from camping I come home to a nice clean house where everything's taken care of. There's nothing worse than going on vacation and leaving your house in a complete wreck and you go out and you have a great time and you come back home and you're feeling a little down that you left your vacation world and you come home to this messy gross house. It just doesn't feel very good. So that's that. I'm going to go ahead and spend the weekend with a bunch of friends in Ohio. I'm going to share some circus and flow art skills with some friends there and probably learn a couple things too. It seems like every time I go to a flow arts camping event I learn a couple new things and it's very exciting. And I also make a number of new friends, which is always a super cool thing to do. Now typically I prefer to get hired to perform at camping events and festivals and events and things like that. But for this particular event, I get free admission because I'm teaching a workshop on how to do some slacklining. So I'll probably end up getting some video from the slackline workshops and also get some other video from other things that are happening there. And as long as they don't contain other people inside there and no music, which I can strip out easily, that's fine. I'll end up posting another video in the future about how my weekend went. It's kind of strange, after filming all these videos and releasing them while I'm gone, I kind of feel like that substitute teacher in high school that just kind of brought in that rack with the TV and the VHS cassettes on there and just kind of played movies while he did Sudoku or Red Sports Illustrated or something like that and everyone else was just watching this mind-numbing movie. I hope that my videos aren't completely mind-numbing for you. So after I'm done filming and editing this video here, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of knock out the rest of my dishes, maybe push a vacuum around the floor, finish folding up the rest of the laundry, and then actually get to bed early for a first time in a long time. Typically I don't get to bed until like 3 or 4 in the morning after getting off work at 2 in the morning. It takes about half an hour to get home and then I have to feed the cat, hang out for a little while and I just can't fall asleep for some reason until 3 at the earliest and 4 in the morning usually. But tonight it looks like I might get to bed before 1 a.m. so I'm pretty excited about that. If this is your first time watching any one of my videos, I've been working as an in-home aide and a caregiver and an advocate for people with disabilities for the past five years or so. And just the past two years I've gotten up to full-time status and working about 60 hours for three different clients. On top of that, I'm posting every single day here on YouTube and doing the occasional entertainment gig as the world starts opening back up again and people are hiring me for their events. So the point is, is that I'm no slouch. I'm always busy, always working, always creating, trying to get ahead in life and feeling like I'm always behind, slightly behind. 
And today's been a really, really good day because I finally feel like I'm not only caught up, but I'm actually a little bit ahead. After this year's done, I don't think I'll be posting videos every single day on YouTube. I think I'm gonna go more for quality over quantity. I don't regret it so far though because it's been an accelerated learning course for me. I've been learning a lot in a very, very short time period. And I post about way too many things. I'm a chaotic poster. I have so many interests. I just can't help myself. I have to post about things that I find interesting and I'm interested in way too many things. One thing I do consistently on my channel is I post a weekly circus and floor arts tutorial. Every single Sunday I release another video that shows you the basics, the fundamentals, the beginning steps. I teach you how to teach yourself how to do things like juggle balls or juggle clubs or contact juggle like you saw earlier in the video right there. Pretty neat or how to spin things on your finger. We call this pediddling in the industry. It's where you take something flat, uh, wide, and you just kind of spin it around on the tip of your finger. You can do this with so many different things. It's a very transferable skill and a lot of fun to see what you can spin on your finger and what you can't spin on your finger. You can also learn how to do the devil sticks. The devil sticks and I go way back. I first picked them up when I was 12 and I didn't really get good until I was 14 or so. And I'm 37 right now, so if you do some math, you can figure out about how long I've been doing the devil sticks for. And once again, these tutorials are aimed towards the beginner, people who are interested in starting how to do this but don't have an idea of how to get started or where to get started, and they might be intimidated by other videos out there on YouTube. I like to try to break down everything in an easy to understand way and to give you the confidence necessary in order to pursue a hobby or even a career perhaps one day with the circus and flow arts. And if you're not interested in learning circus and flow arts, that's fine too because the other six days of the week I'm posting videos about some other thing. I post about so many things that it's absolute chaos and the best way to sift through the chaos is to visit my playlist section here on my channel and look at all the different playlists that I've organized all my video content into. I'm sure you'll find something within my playlist section that might pique your interest. And that's a wrap folks. Thanks very much for giving my video a chance and clicking on it and watching it all the way through. I appreciate it very much. And I'll leave you with these words that have been ending all my videos lately here on YouTube. Remember to never give up, do your best, stay true to you and who you are. And as always, folks, be amazing. Whatever that means to you. All right, folks, get on out of here. I got stuff to do. I got to get some sleep. And you probably have stuff to do with your time, too. Thanks very much again for watching. Have a beautiful night. Bye-bye.